So Alejandra, thank you for hosting us out here. You're this welcome. Fantastic. Um, tell me a little bit about your work. Well, I run a few different projects under Daydreamer Projects, which is my umbrella. So I deal with all kinds of different things. There are personal projects. Some of them are design-based, some of them are education, and some of them have to do with um, nutrition and farming. Tell me about the restaurant. It's in New York. The restaurant is in New York City in the Lower East Side. We've been operating for 13 years. It's called Brown Cafe. And yeah, pretty much 80% of what we serve, we farm locally within a two hour radius of New York City. Now we're standing in front of your cars. I have to know about these. <laughs> Why are they so special? This car was produced while Porsche was at the verge of bankruptcy in 1969. The problem was that when they released it in Europe, they released it as a Volkswagen Porsche. So for the people that were buying Volkswagen, it was too expensive. And for the people that were buying Porsche, it was a Volkswagen. Yeah. So it felt horribly. And when they marketed in America, they marketed it as Porsche. So it did okay in America, but it still it didn't do what Porsche was expecting to do. They stopped making it in 1976, but it's still to this day it's a very relevant car, not only because in terms of design, but also just because I feel like, you know, when, when we are in a dire situation, that's when we really get creative and that's when we really design from a perspective of solving a problem rather than design for design's sake. They drive like a go-kart. It's a mid-engine car, so it has two trunks. Actually, the roof gets a store into the trunk and there's a still like a storage you lift space. The roof off. You lift, yeah, it's a hard top and you put it in the trunk. Mm -hmm. But it's still like just, you know, space, you know, in the trunk below the roof. And then there's a whole trunk in the front. And since it's a mid-engine car, the center of gravity is in the middle. So it just turns on a dime. This is a car that was made in 1973 and it goes 30 miles per gallon. 30? Yeah. And that's in 73 when they didn't care about exactly. anything. Exactly. Wow. So I think like this car is incredibly relevant in terms of design just because it's an incredibly efficient car. Yes. You know, it's the design is beautiful, it drives beautiful and yeah, I don't think there's a car even in this market that can offer the same, you know, pedigree, you know, for that kind of money.